Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial on data handling. Um, I've already added the project as you can see. This is a new program.cs file. And um, yeah, a little tip. Um, to quickly add a project as a startup project, just right click on it and set us and set us startup project. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. So um, data handling is how to use data to uh, make a choice and we do that by using something called the if statement and that is typed out like this and uh, to use the if statement you must first have a condition and a condition can either be true or false um, so let's say we want to ask for a password. Um, well, then we first add a string um, pass word password equals to nothing. Then we do console console dot write because we want it to ask a question like um, type the password um, like this and add that um, and then we do password equals to console dot read line to input it, um, then we have to check if the password is correct. So um, we set a string um, true pass, um, and that could be, uh, let's say, secret like that. So now we want to check if the password is correct and then we first type out the if statement and now we want to check if this password is the same as true pass and we do this by type first the password variable uh, and then two equals because then we check if this is the same as what's after this so then we type true pass then we check if the password is the same as true pass and this does not ignore capitals so it has to be exactly the same so if I type secret with a small s it's not true um, so um, when it, this happens we could do console dot uh, right line correct and um, uh, if it is not then we type else that is if this condition is not true uh, then we do console dot right line wrong like that and uh, yeah so if we test this out now and you could do that easily by just pressing F5 on your keyboard and um, it will begin to debug and here we see the window type the password okay secret with a small s wrong and then it, it exits but um, we could add the console dot um, read here and just copy this and add it here. Yeah, or you know what we could just 
um, edit at the end of the if statement because when these uh, when the, what is inside these blocks in the if statement is finished running it's just gonna jump to the end of the if statement and continue uh, to execute the program so now if, if we try it again and this time type the correct password secret correct and you see we get the read line so this is with um, strings now that is um, some of them. Now we could we could do um, dot and then uh, we have starts with to check if it starts with something like that. So if it starts with true pass now uh, if we run this and type secrets and then something crazy then you see we are correct because it starts with it and if we try run this again um, if you try to type something and then secret it says wrong but uh, to to do that we could use the dot ends with so now we check if it ends with that uh, and um, you have also a function called um, contains so now if this phrase is inside the password string at all, it will fire the correct um, function. So that was uh, strings, and uh, for integers, um, let me just type this out. Okay, so um, yeah, so what we do here is that we first set an integer and then we write try guessing what number I'm thinking of and uh, then we read in the um, a variable and then I use something called a random class here and I it is a random number a random integer which is going to change every second then we check if I equals to that random number and that random number is between 0 and 50 and if it is then it will write wow you are correct and if not it will write sorry that's wrong so le let's try it so let's try 20 sorry that's wrong uh, and if you want to see what it actually is we could set something called a breakpoint here and you do that by um, hovering your mouse at the line you want to insert the breakpoint and just putting it there and we could set two here then just starting guess what number I'm thinking of um... let's go with 33 now we could hover over this R dot next and um, find out what it is. Let's see, um, okay, so it's twenty one, I believe. Sorry, that's wrong. Um, yeah, but the uh, you, you don't have to worry about this random right now we'll probably go over that in a later video but um, uh, yeah that is a little bit and um, you could do uh, with the numbers let's remove this you can do uh, basic like greater, greater than less than
greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, um, uh, and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, but for now, um, we just use this. But of course, you could use greater than uh, or less than to check if this is greater than this uh, and vice versa. So, um, yeah, this has been on uh, data handling uh, with the if statement. Yeah, bye.